Let's look at uh, a further different model, which is not nucleation growth model, but diffusion-based model under very low conversion. And we are talking about the simplest case is one-dimensional growth, like what we draw here. The precipitate is beta phase, and the host or matrix is alpha phase. The beta phase is growing, and the interface is moving towards the right with velocity of v. Okay, and the thickness for the transformed phase would be x, while the initial uh, matrix or the host thickness or length would be L0. So we're talking about diffusion control based model on the very low conversion case, one dimensional. Okay, and what we said earlier, depending on the mechanism, we would have different change of concentration with respect to location. Okay, of course, within the beta phase, the concentration is constant of x beta, but then within the alpha or the matrix phase, the concentration may have different situation. For example, if it follows this blue dashed line, then the concentration would be the same as the original concentration. That will be the interface controlled types of reaction, which means the diffusion is relatively fast. And uh, the interface reaction, the rearrangement from alpha to beta is relatively slow. So the system is waiting for the atom to rearrange and the and uh, very even very near to the interface the concentration is as high as within deep within the material. Okay, that's interface controlled. The other one would be following this rad dashed curve that is diffusion control. For that case, we are assuming the interfacial transformation going from alpha to beta is very, very fast. But the solid state diffusion to provide the needed solute from deep within the alpha to the interface is very slow. So as a result, locally, we would have depletion of the precipitate, of the alloying uh, alloy component of the uh, B component. So that would be the diffusion controlled. And then the concentration of X beta and X EQ would follow so-called a local equilibrium, which means at any time, the concentration right across the interface follows the phase boundary rule, okay? And in between the interface controlled and diffusion controlled, we would have something like this green line, so-called a mixed control mixed control, which is partially determined by interfacial reaction, partially determined by the diffusion, okay? So for this model, let's focus on the red one, the diffusion controlled scenario. For that, diffusion controlled growth of precipitate in one dimensional. From earlier, if you remember, the thickness to the power of two or the square of thickness is a constant times the transformation time or reaction time t. Again, d would be the diffusion coefficient, and the delta x0 would be the undercooling, the undercooling. And the x beta would be the equilibrium concentration of beta phase. x eq would be the equilibrium concentration within alpha phase, right, if we are assuming local equilibrium. Okay, so this is the relationship that we have. The thickness to the power of two or thickness square equals constant times t. And in this case, people generally find the precipitate growth follows parabolic relationship, which essentially just the same thing of x square equals constant times t. Or if you write in a different way, x square equals k prime times t. Okay, and then the fraction of conversion, assuming low com conversion, the fraction of conversion would be the thickness x of the transformed section divided by the initial section thickness x0. x is the instant thickness, l0 is the initial thickness, assuming no volume change in the phase transformation. 
x divided by x zero. And don't forget x would be the square root of k prime times t to the power of half. So this relationship gives us the extent of conversion at any given time t. Okay? And of course this equation is not very precise because as you can easily see, for this equation when t goes towards infinity, L0 is constant. K prime is in constant. If t goes towards infinity, the fraction of conversion goes towards infinity, which obviously is incorrect. That's why we say this model is only applicable to very low conversion. Okay, far from um, the complete reaction. Okay, if we have something like this, then we can write fraction real fraction of conversion as a constant. We call it k double prime, which is essentially k prime to the square root divided by l0, k double prime times the square root of t. This gives us the fraction of conversion for diffusion-based model. How fast does it grow? It grows limited by diffusion at the very beginning stage of the phase transformation. Okay. And of course, for this, we can also rearrange f square. Both sides take the power of 2x f square to equals to the kt. Okay, t to the power of half square would be t, and k double prime we call square we call it the k. Okay, this tells us the real fraction of conversion with respect to time t, and it follows a parabolic relation.